Welcome everyone, I am Pastor Hannah, uh, the Next Gen Pastor here at Emmanuel, and I am so glad that you've joined me in my science lab. Well, we are going to be performing some science experiments as we make our way towards Easter with our new lesson series called Easter Science. Now, I'm sure when you think about Easter, you think about science, right? <laughs> but I mean, like, where else does all of this fake grass come from? Have you ever seen it growing in the wild? I want to figure out that. Or like, what kind of chicken lays cream eggs? Well, we're actually not going to figure out the answers to those things, but we are going to do some cool science experiments over the next couple of weeks. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna open this envelope that says open. <laughs> it is gonna give us some clues about what we're doing today for science. Let's see. Okay, today's experiment is called the praise experiment. And our word for this week is called possible. Okay. All right, well, there's some instructions there, but basically it's telling me stick an egg in a bottle. <laughs> so that can't be that hard, right? Okay, these are hard boiled eggs, peeled, and I'm just gonna like stick it. Oh, sugar. <laughs> well, <laughs> maybe I should have read the instructions. Gross. Ah, oh, it smells like rotten eggs in here. All right, okay, I guess I should have read the instructions. All right, so actually, actually, even though that seemed awfully impossible and messy, apparently there is a way to get an egg in a bottle. Let's see here. It told me to, don't try this at home without a parent, okay? It told me to light a piece of paper on fire that's right, that's why you can't do this without a parent. Uh, I'll get my supplies ready here. So you need a hard boiled egg, peeled. Ooh, they're slimy. <laughs> uh, you need a bottle. This size, I think, will end up working quite well. This was um, a mocha drink of some sort from like a Starbucks. Uh, glass jar. So if you want to try it at home, that's the type of bottle that you'll need. It has to be glass, you need a piece of paper, a match, and the egg. Okay, well, let's see what we've got here. Light your paper on fire. And throw it in the bottle and you stick the egg on top. Oh my gosh, are you, are you watching this? Look, oh my goodness, can you see that? <gasps> oh, oh, it's working. What? I think it kind of got stuck there, but it is now like into the bottle. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> oh my goodness. So I thought for sure this was not gonna be possible, but as it turns out, it is possible. It absolutely is possible. Oh my goodness, so that I guess reminds me of our word for today, possible. Hmm. Okay, well, to be honest, um, there's not much about Easter that makes us think of science. And uh, to be fair, um, many people who try to make Easter and science connect, uh, they realize that it may not have a lot in common. Easter is a really special time that we, where we celebrate God's greatest miracle. And miracles, um, well, they can't always be explained by science. So for that reason, Easter and science kind of don't always go hand in hand. I really feel like boop, popping that egg right down in there. There we go. <laughs> it worked. 
Well, since this is a start of a new series, we have, of course, a memory verse. So let me tell you what it is, and we will be repeating it every week until we reach Easter Sunday. It's 2 Corinthians 5, 17b, and it says, When anyone lives in Christ, the new creation has come. The old is gone. The new is here. Well, that's the gifts we were given by God through Jesus' sacrifice, which we talk about at Easter. We are given new life when we believe what Jesus did for us on the cross. And we get a fresh start and eternal life. Now, for today's lesson, the praise experiment, we're going to look at a Bible passage uh, it takes place in Jerusalem the week before Easter. And we're going to, after we watch that, we're going to connect what this experiment with the egg in the bottle uh, has to do with that Bible passage and our word for the week possible. So here is the video from Saddleback Kids, and it's based on Mark 11, 1 to 10. The story of Easter, the triumphal entry. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. At this time, the Jewish people were celebrating a festival called Passover that had been celebrated since the time of Moses, when God brought his people out of Egypt. So Jesus was going to Jerusalem to celebrate. Jesus and his disciples stopped in the town. You coming? And Jesus told two of his disciples to go on ahead of them. Eh, okay. He told them to go into a village and that they would see a young donkey that no one had ever ridden. Rock! He told them to untie it and bring it to him. If anyone asks, what are you doing? He told them to just say, the Lord needs it and will return it soon. Okay, go ahead. So the disciples did what Jesus said and brought him the donkey. A long time ago, before Jesus was even born, God had said that the Savior, the King of Israel, would come to Israel in this way. And now Jesus was doing just as God had said. The news that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem swept through the city. Many heard about all the amazing things he had done, so they cut palm branches and ran to see him. Huh? The Pharisees and religious rulers realized that there was nothing they could do, for everyone was going to see Jesus. Jesus rode into the city of Jerusalem, and the crowd spread their coats on the road ahead of him. His followers began to shout and sing as they walked along, praising God for all the wonderful miracles they had seen. The Pharisees were upset. Hey, Jesus! and they told Jesus to stop the people from saying things like that. But Jesus said, if they keep quiet, the stones along the road would burst into cheers. So the people kept on singing, blessings on the king who comes in the name of the Lord. Praise God in highest heaven. The entire city of Jerusalem was in an uproar as he entered, asking, who is this? And the crowds replied, it's Jesus. And Jesus rode the donkey through the street of Jerusalem to the temple in a triumphal entry, just as God said he would many years before. Well, people didn't line the streets of Jerusalem for just anybody. They didn't wave palm branches and throw their cloaks on the ground for just your ordinary person who came through Jerusalem for Passover. The people knew there was something special about Jesus. 
Many already believed that he might be the Messiah, this chosen one that God had promised that it would come and save the people. So how does this Bible passage, an egg in a bottle, and the word of the week possible all relate? Any ideas? Well, when I tried to put the egg in the bottle without the special ingredient, the lit paper, it really wasn't possible for that to work out properly, was it? Now, when I used the right ingredients, I lit the paper on fire, I put it in the bottle, and I ended up with the egg being sucked in perfectly, it suddenly was possible. When we used the right ingredients, it all worked out. Something seemingly impossible suddenly became possible. But while Jesus was on earth, he did what seemed to be impossible things. He performed miracles. He even raised someone from the dead. With Jesus, things really are possible. Now, God was the one who decided to send Jesus to earth and reveal to the people that Jesus is the Messiah. Did you notice in the video what the people did? They celebrated, right? They praised God for sending the Messiah. They thanked God for sending Jesus who made things possible. Well, even though Jesus isn't physically on earth with us today, he is still making things possible in our lives too. When Jesus is in your heart, it is possible for you to feel joy in your life, even if things aren't going exactly the way you want. With Jesus in your heart, it is possible to have the courage to stand up for a friend if they're being picked on at school. With Jesus in your heart, it is absolutely possible to have eternal life in heaven. So this week, we, as we make our way towards Easter, let's praise God for sending Jesus, the Messiah, to the world. And thank Jesus for making things possible. All right, we're going to take 60 seconds and discuss what is your favorite kind of Easter candy? Let's pray. God, today, as we think about this science experiment with the egg and the bottle, uh, we just want to thank you for doing things that we thought were impossible. You provided a way for us to have eternal life on our own, without the special ingredient of having Jesus in our life. On our own, it's impossible. But because of the gift of Jesus, it is possible. And God, we want to praise you and thank you for that today. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you come back again next week for uh, another science experiment in our Easter Science Lab. And until then, I do hope that you spend the week praising God 
for all of the things that he makes possible in your life. Bye.